Hello everyone. Hmm. Welcome to Toho World Cup 2024. We were here just a hour ago for Mountain of Faith extra scoring and after a short short break we're back for today's second match. PFV Lunatic scoring. What a match. Between the flowers of this game, the players will have to perform crazy moves in a beautiful chaos created by dense bullet storms. And remember, the more bullets, the better. I'm Lorenzo and I have two other players with me today. We have first the versus shmup enthusiast, the Tsuka lover, the Tewi main, it's Cake. Hey. Hello Cake. How's it going? Yo. And then we have one of the best POV players on the planet, Dago. Hi, I'm Rostias Herbert. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> it's okay if you're Rosti. You just have to enlighten the chat about the greatness of POV. I, I try my best, okay. <laughs> okay, so... Um... We also have quite a lineup today. We have three players for uh, for scoring, which is quite rare. If you if you see last years, sometimes we didn't have scoring. It was extra scoring last year, but it was always two players. Maybe we had three ones, but this is quite a rare occasion. We have for Team Star that parrot, also known as Rurulu, and if you can, in case you don't know, he's the world record holder for every category in the game. Uh, yeah. So yeah, he's quite good at the game. <laughs> you will see. He's you'll see soon. Yeah, absolutely. Um, then for Team Luna, we have Pigeon. He's a returning player. He's always here for PFE. He's absolutely a chad when it comes to this game. He's always improving, playing every shot, every category. Uh, I, really, I really like watching him play and today we have him for Team Luna. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely a big POV enjoyer. Absolutely. And finally, for Team Sunny we have Otani. And I believe he, he, he's Atsumori, but I don't want to be wrong. Uh, and I think Otani refers to a baseball player, but I'm not really sure and I don't, don't really follow baseball. <laughs> yeah, I wonder too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it does. Okay, awesome. Uh, I read the Japanese summary and it's it just says he has uh, over uh, 3,500 uh, matches in PvP. And oh, yeah, wow. that's it. And he wants uh, to... <laughs> to show people the greatness of a POV uh, single player through TWC. That's ultra based, to be honest. So, right, how about we check out what this game is about for the slides? Sure. As you, as you know, at this point, Toho World Cup is the annual international tournament featuring the Toho Project to the Mops. We have as many matches as possible today's POFB. You can check the website to check the times of every match, the results, etc. etc. You might know it by this point. Today we have quite a long timer, it's 110 minutes, and it honestly makes a lot of sense because each run can last very, very long. <laughs> Just to tell you, the world record is one hour long, so <laughs> we might have some incredibly long runs. Especially yeah, with we see how the... many things that can change uh, how long uh, a run is. Yeah, that too, that's true. The mechanics, which we'll, we'll go into uh, in more detail as we get into the match, but as a general rule of thumb, you cancel bullets by using level 2 charges and you start chains. You want your chain to be as big as possible to increase spell point and get to and get to a bonus. And you'll see that the players will wait for Lee at the start of, of the match to get uh, better chains faster. Until you get to the bonus bonus zone. Yeah. 
as if you see those bonus the gold those gold bonus texts on the screen then the player is doing well <laughs> yeah not too hard to understand i think yeah we love bonus dude <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here's the graph. It's a little bit crowded because there are a lot of shots in this game. Yeah, it's both characters. Yeah. You'll see that Shikieki and Raisin are the top scoring shots and as a, as a, little, uh, as a little clue, we might see one of them today. <laughs> so be excited for that. Yeah, I wonder who will everyone play because um, all of the players we have, they play multiple characters, they don't really have a main, I think. So You're I'm right. curious. We do have some clues about who's going to play who, so we'll get to that soon. Of course, as, you, as we see characters on screen, we'll do considerations based on what core they get, what TWC score they get, because the comparisons are quite hard to make. Uh, I think that Parrot will bring Raisin today. Yeah, that might be the case. It is one of his uh, favorite scoring shots and one of the records he has spent uh, the most time in, I would say. Yeah, and in fact, just yesterday he broke the record and reached an amazing 806 millions. What the? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Do yeah. you already have one for <laughs> Wait, what? That's a huge score for Raisin. <laughs> Honestly, okay. I can't really wrap my head around it. It, it just was crazy. It, it had like... Uh, Six minutes and a half, stage nine, round one. Oh, that's that's a, that's, a, that's a lot for Raisin, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot for Raisin, and it got like 150 mil, which is absolutely crazy. Yeah, I mean, his consistency in this game is really, it's really out of this world. I, I've never seen a POV player just as good. Yeah. Yes, his moves, the way he moves, the way he reads those unreadable uh, Darmaku barrages is just crazy, you know? So yeah, we'll be seeing Raisin from Dead Parrot. And maybe he will switch to someone else because he also has um, Lyrica 300 mil in, as one of his goals. So we may see Lyrica, but I don't know. We'll see. About Pigeon, hmm. We knew that he was playing Yuka a few weeks back, but recently he has got many PBs with many different characters, so we, mm, we aren't sure about who he's going to play, and um, he's probably going to play multiple characters in this match. I'm... I think he's going to bring maybe Raisin as well? Uh, Komachi? We'll see. It's, it's surely going to be a big variety of characters today. And finally, uh, Otani. I, I really don't know who he's going to play. I haven't checked up on him. On his recent Same. progress. I well, he either. doesn't have any PB submitted, I think. Oh really? It's going to be quite a wild card then today. Yeah, it's a mystery. It's a mysterious PvP super player maybe. It's very interesting. Oh. Oh. So, Raisin and Akir screams. That's very interesting. We have Dead Parrot already practicing stage 9 one, one which is the biggest stage for, for Raisin, I guess. The biggest round for Raisin. Ah. 
D D D S S S S S What? Does that does that does look like one of Rulu's Twitch names? It does, yeah. I think that's his current one. Maybe he he often changes. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the timer started. So, I didn't even know this. Yeah. Okay. It's Brazen and Yuka. Oh, we have Yuka. Hmm, Yuka from Otani. Okay. That's a, an interesting pick. And Pigeon is is training still. Okay. I think we will start to run soon. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. So, um, Cake. What are the mm -hmm. mechanics of, of this game? What is the level 2? What is the scope? What are all those, uh, the, all those things? Well, you in this game you're going to be uh, charging up your, uh, well, leveling up your gauge and using uh, level 2s to cancel bullets and with level 2s you're going to be sending attacks to other screen and uh, level 2s are uh, good because they have uh, pellets that can be sent right back to your screen by the uh, CPU and you're just gonna be sending both uh, your pellets and well yeah you're just gonna be sending pellets back to back and forward and uh, you're gonna be also uh, characters have uh, unique scopes which are very it's character defining because some characters have pretty good scopes and others don't really have good scopes at all. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess an example would be uh, Yuka. Yuka's scope is actually very, very unique, just because it's constantly moving, even like if you're standing still. You see on on Otani screen. Uh, when he presses a certain button, I'm not sure about this button configuration, but you see the, the purple aura around him, that's his scope, and and it has balls moving around the Yuka, which is really funny. Yeah. <laughs> I, guess, I guess it resembles a flower, so it's fine. Yeah, it's supposed to be that, I think. If anything, it's a small circle, uh, they don't... Fully, they don't properly function actually. They, it's actually only half of them that that works. Like the, oh, the really? tip doesn't <laughs> doesn't catch spirits <laughs> properly. Oh, it that's just like things. <laughs> yeah, so it's actually smaller than than it looks. All right. Oh, he got 11 million stage one. That's good. That's good indeed. But think of how do you score this game? What how do you get score? Uh, well, for the most part, you see there's a <laughs> there's a number in the top left of the screen, and uh, you get that number to nine nine hundred ninety thousand K, and uh, yeah, starting from there, you, you get a big a lot of <laughs> big lot of score, and basically by the um, by killing the enemies and. Um, Canceling the small pellets around the, around them, for the most part. And mm -hmm. so one important thing is that uh, to maintain this number at the at a high value on the on the top left, uh, what well, you need to chain, because you see that there is a small gauge when you start shooting at enemies that appear behind the um, below this number. And uh, if this chain reaches, uh, I mean, this uh, gauge. Uh, completely empties what the um, the number we just reset to back to zero and it can take uh, a lot of time to get it back to the to the maximum so yeah you, you kind of need to be strategic with uh, which enemies you kill and which ones you don't and it's uh, it's random for the most part so you this game requires a lot of uh, improvisation you you will see it's not there's no routing basically yeah that's it that's a big theme on this game. There isn't really a route, but you gotta play with what you have. Ooh, Otani is getting kind of mistreated by... <laughs> I don't know if it, th those hits were on purple or something, but... Uh, that's a bit uh, of a dangerous situation. 
Mm -mm -mm -mm. In fact, you do want to get hit uh, in the earlier stages because if you get hit, you get some gauge and when Lily comes around, you can use a level 2 and start a really big chain early on. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it's useful, especially it's not very risky because the, um, the five first stages um, of the story mode, they have very short runs. Because, uh, yeah, maybe we haven't explained it, but the AI is basically on a, on a timer. And at the end of the timer, well, it's, uh, it just... Uh, it just takes a, takes a hit and, and go die. But uh, yeah, the timer is about one one minute ten seconds or something. So uh, yes. it's not it's not too risky to to uh, take a hit on purpose. And if you take it at the very start, it's actually free. Yeah, you're right because you you'll get uh, you lose one yin yang and the highest amount of yin yangs you can lose in a hit is free. So you'll still have a hit to go before uh, going to half in Yang, which is last life. Yeah. And by the way, we have Yuka as well for Pigeon, I didn't even notice. Yeah, blue Yuka. Based. Also, uh, dead power to Ruru got, he got out of stage 1 and look at his score, I mean... <laughs> oh my. He's in for quite the run. He, he just got two extends in, in one stage, like like it's nothing, you know. That's what we expect from Ruru. By the way, hmm, should we explain what Lily Stalling does? Uh, yeah, you, you can explain it if you want. Alright, um, so, especially in the early stages, players will wait for, for Lily to, stone, to, to spawn, which will uh, happen after around 50 seconds. And what that does is, um, it will, um, the rank will go, will go up when Lily spawns, and not only that, but Lily spawns bullets, so you... Um, how can I say this? <laughs> uh, you can start a chain with Lily, and not um, not only that, but in the meantime, when you stall, the timer of the opponent will not go down; it will freeze. So you maximize the efficiency of the round by starting to shoot only when Lily comes up. Yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Yeah. Also, the, for the rank, I would say it, um, it goes up pro progressively, regardless of uh, whether Lily comes or not. Yeah. But uh, and you can actually stall more than one Lily, and just wait for the rank to reach uh, the maximum value. Uh, of, of, although I would say the the rank isn't. Uh, I mean, it's a uh, it's hidden. The the value is hidden, so you have to know uh, it by heart. But there are there are some values on the on the wiki you can learn. Yep. Correct. And uh, with the rank go going up, it's it's easier to score, but it's also more difficult to dodge because the rank makes the uh, it makes the pellets more more numerous. I mean, there are more pellets, and they also go faster, which is uh, kind of dangerous, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, with high scoring character, I would say it's quite a good thing, but. If you play a character who already struggles just to survive the game, it's uh, you, you don't want to stall too much. Uh, and also, uh, yeah, stalling more than one melee means you have to dodge it while it's patterned with, uh, without shooting. And uh, it, it can be kind of hard, especially if you also have a, a boss pattern or a spell, an enemy spell uh, at the same time. So yeah, the, the safe choice is just to go for one melee. Yeah. We should also mention that in, in a TWC setting where you play based on a, on a timer, maybe you just want to go for one Lily even for the higher scoring characters, because if you if you stall multiple Lilies on a run which eventually you won't conclude, it might be not good for uh, getting runs in, right? It does make it take more, more time, yeah. Also, uh, we can see Ludo Ludo is, uh, is doing multiple daily stall right now. He, nice. He's pretty confident, I think, about his, yeah. <laughs> about his skill. 
Yeah, he's even taking a second, uh, I mean, one hit uh, as, as a spawn, so he's, yeah, I mean, he's making uh, his one less safe, making it easier for him to die if, he, if things go wrong, so yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but he's a child, so he'll be okay, <laughs> probably. I think we'll justify multiple of his choices by saying he's a child. <laughs> Or he's just really good. <laughs> um, about why racing is good for scoring. Um, let's say that one of the reasons is because a level 2 spawns a lot of pellets on the opponent's screen. And not only that, a level 1 is amazing to control uh, pellets on your side and starting chaining. Uh, because you see the level 1 is a big bullet raising spawns which explodes and as it explodes it creates explosions on what's around it so it uh, hits uh, all the um, spirits or fairies around it and it, it can keep on making things explode on top of the screen where all the pellets spawn so you get big chains if you manage to get the level 1 to explode high on the screen. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, it's uh, something that's only special to a few level 1s, but normally you need to scope the spirits uh, before killing them to, to make them uh, cancel pellets. But uh, Resistance level 1 make it so you don't you don't need to do that and it just uh, it just uh, kills spirits very easily and make uh, and make them uh, Cancel pellets anyway, so yeah, it's very good at uh, at sending back uh, at sending back uh, all the pellets you send to your enemies. Of course, say it's not as trivial as it uh, as Rural is making it look, probably. Oh, absolutely. I'm not sure really uh, how how does it make it so look so easily, but yeah, it's mysterious even even to me. Ah, oh, we should also mention that usually. Uh, spirits don't cause explosions unless they're activated and you're activated by hitting them with your scope. Yeah. Also, um, Otani got into stage 6, which is uh, the first stage when uh, <laughs> where things get uh, get serious, I would say. Yeah. And Yuka has a, has a strong opponent in stage 6, which is Daimu. Who is kind of uh, yeah? She she doesn't show much mercy. <laughs> you can see her uh, the spell she's sending with the uh, rings of bullets that spread very wide and then aim at you. That uh, it's very hard to deal with uh, with your with your own spells. You you have to dodge a lot of a lot of stuff against her. Yeah, because Ramos level two and level three will force you to play at the bottom of the screen. And if you play PFV, a lot of the times you want to have the height advantage to cancel more stuff with, with, with your level 2s. And against Reimu you can't really do that. And Yuka really struggled with that because she's low. Um, she, not only she's low, but um, her charges attack may backfire when, um, when you use it too much. Because you may cancel stuff that is on the other side of the screen and you might find yourself in a situation with lots of, lots of pellets around you and not enough fairies or spirits to cancel them. But it gets through very nicely. Yeah, and also, I mean, there's also her ex bullets which just ward you off. <laughs> We're on top of the, all the other stuff she throws at you. It's, it's just horrible, but... But Otani made it out alive. The no and, pigeons uh, on stage six. Uh, yeah, pigeon is also on stage six. Same against Reimu. Hopefully he he does well too. Well, I think like Ray, I, I didn't see the timer, but I feel like Reimu uh, against Otani died early, maybe. He did die early. It was only yeah. ab around. It was before three minutes for sure. Yeah, it was which is kind minutes. of bad. Uh, I think it was like 2.14 or something. Oh. It was, yeah, it was very early. early. Yeah, dying early is uh, it's kind of bad in scoring. 
Sometimes it can be a blessing, but most of the time you, you don't want that because it means less time to score. And uh, he has about 60 million right now, Otani, which is uh, okay. It's that's okay, but like it could be higher maybe. Hmm. Although Ayao can also be a big uh, a big chance uh, at scoring. Definitely, Aya is one of the biggest sta biggest stages for Pumitzer in stage seven. Because remember, the the route is personalized for every character, so a lot of characters don't get Aya but get medicine instead. Yeah, Aya is definitely a bit easier, I would say. Yeah, definitely. But even then, even if she's easier, she can get really scary when you're going for... Yeah, like that. Oh, okay. Oof. It's good. Oh no. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Uh, plus, Yukal is also not very advantage against Aya, I would say. Yeah. It's a bit hard for her to stay uh, high on the screen because she's very slow. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate hit, hit for Otani, but going to round two is absolutely fine because uh, the way you work around with suicides and life's loss in this game is well, can I make more than 10 millions in the next round? If so, then it's worth it to suicide. That's basically how yeah. it goes. Yeah, and round two starting from um, stage seven is two two minutes long about about two minutes long so yeah you have plenty of time to get 10 million i would say mm -hmm. also one way of scoring i uh, we didn't talk about it, is uh, there's a bonus at the end of each stage and uh mm -hmm. this bonus uh well it's mainly depends on uh, how many spells you send and also how many bosses you you send so yeah you can uh, you can score this way instead of uh, instead of going to I mean instead of max maxing your your spell points especially in early stages with some characters uh, it's a bit hard to max your spell point in one minute so you can just um, go with a uh, boss reversals and things like that to, to compensate and it's also a lot safer Right. Allow me to direct your attention to that parrot because it's just entered the spell wall against Sakia. Oh, right. And let me tell you, entering spell wall is harder than it looks. But it's doing it. It's doing it. It's doing amazing. Wow. Well, he's making the, in the situation he's in is he's making this game look a bit trivial, honestly. <laughs> yeah, but it's really but awesome sending uh, level two uh, and uh, having his gauge uh, coming back as soon as as he, fi as he fires it. <laughs> it's almost magic. It is magic, really. It's I, I don't I don't get it myself. Same. It's a mystery. Because against an opponent like Sakuya, it's it's very easy to uh, be fooled by the boss and remain with no gauge at the bottom of the screen. But if you if you play the match a certain way, you can trigger the spell war in a way that makes you gain those level twos all the time. And it's really hard to make it that way, honestly. Because I heard a little bit of written scoring before this match, and I found out that. Sometimes you just couldn't go to spell work in Sakia. Yeah, it's not it's not trivial by any means. Sometimes it just it just doesn't go the way you, you wish it did. Yeah. Oh that movement. Yeah. Oh oh this movement, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to pay attention to Sakuya's spells uh, as she stops time and uh, you want to cancel the 
the knives that appear as soon as uh, as they as they well as soon as they spawn if possible. Yeah. Especially because, Hall Level 3, which isn't trivial to dodge. Because Sakuya's boss doesn't really spawn many pellets. She spawns a lot of knives and add that to the EX starts, which are the knives which uh, come from the sides, which have huge hitboxes. And if you don't pay attention, you might find yourself in really tricky situations. Yeah, each character, uh, I mean, against each character, you have a lot of things to pay attention to that may change depending on which character it is. And uh, yeah, you just know this with experience for the most part. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh. Oh, we have, we have a lot of action on our screen. We have Pigeon on, on Aya, Otani on Komachi, and now we have that parrot on Medicine, which is absolutely <laughs> insane. <laughs> yeah, on Medicine, he hopefully he he does well, because that's the real hard. I mean, a lot harder than Sakuya, even. Yeah. Medicine's uh, just always bad for anyone who uh, is playing against her. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're Marisa, there's only Marisa who can have a somewhat easy time against medicine, but that's it. That's it for real. And Marisa doesn't even face medicine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, in story mode. You can see Otani is against Komachi. It's kind of. He's a bit struggling. He, he's lost the life already. But that's yep. okay. I mean, he, he will clear. That's. That's enough for to clear at least. Commercially round one is is very rough, especially for Yuka. Yeah, I mean Komachi really pins you down the the screen with all the you see the EX bull bullets, you have spirals of coins just uh, spawning all around the screen. And you have to dodge uh, multiple layers of bullets if you want to to survive. And uh, yeah, that makes it hard. I mean, you often go to the to the bottom of the screen to to have an easier time dodging, but that makes it hard to, to cancel it all. Ooh, second miss for Otani. Oh, damn. That's unfortunate. Oh, early hit for Raisin as well. Can he get to Spell War? Yeah, you can see Medicine has those... Uh, her EX attack is... Uh, she, oh sp God. she spawns uh, clouds of poison, which slows down your, your speed. And uh, of course those uh, clouds can stack, so if you have more than one cloud, uh, you, you extra slow down. And oh, he took a sudden hit. That's pretty early, he might... He might die to the audience and lose a lot of score. Yeah. That, and that's sometimes, the nature yeah, of this round. Yeah, the, this character can make can create some, uh, I'll say, bullshit situations where you, it feels like you can't do anything, you know? Because you just mm -hmm. slow down in the, in the poison and you don't even have time to, to charge for, uh, for a spell, even if, you have, <laughs> even if you have the gauge. The pellet just lunges at you and, and kills you. Plus, you, you can't even see anything sometimes. Before this yeah. poison, it's it's, it's, it's that very insane. frustrating. But he is getting this power now. Oh, the Esther is okay. Oh, nice. We're, okay, we're we're almost got almost got uh, spawned kill by the the as fairies. Because yeah, in case you don't know, uh, at the sides of the at the two angles of the screen, um, fairies can spawn and hit you and it's really bad when it happens yeah you really you really hate to see it when it happens i think what i hate the most about the medicine matchup is chaining hits because you may be in a in a in a cloud i get hit get inside an even denser cloud and be unable to do anything because you don't have time oh, yeah, to yeah. charge and you can't move. That happens so often. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, because after you get hit, you just get sent in a direction randomly. Most of the time, it's not a big deal, but against medicine, you, you sometimes feel it. Sometimes feel the unfairness of that decision. Yeah. But he is pulling through now, and he gets the suicide. Nice. Oh, well played. That's amazing how we managed to survive two more minutes after final hits and managed to score the entire round all the way until 4.15. In the meanwhile, we have Otani in stage yeah. 9 one Last stage. He's stalling on the first round for some reason. Also, Eki took a hit, I don't know how, but yeah. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> That's unusual. Maybe there's just a wall of uh, EX attacks. Well, he's stalled, so I don't know. But maybe uh, she just yeah. <laughs> she just got hit by a spirit. Sometimes it happens, but uh, it's mysterious. But oh, for now he's getting he's getting mistreated by by AK, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, because yeah, you see AK uh, spawns those uh, those crowds are just. Uh, I mean, they. Cr I don't know how to describe it. It's just another bullet that spawn when a pellet passes by those clouds, and this pellet is a, a bit. This bullet is a bit bigger, and it's especially faster, which is uh, yes, yeah, horrible. Hot dog moment. Oof. Not the longest round for Otani, but it's understandable because round one is just insane. Yeah, and Yuka is really not uh, tailored to <laughs> to uh, yeah to resist well for very long against hits. Because she's very slow, and the, but the bullets are very fast, so you can't really you can't even macro dodge on these bullets. Yeah. Because one thing um, I didn't say is that the, many of these pellets are aimed some somewhat around you. It's like two, two third of them, the blue pellets are aimed around you, uh, close to you, I mean. And then you have some uh, pink pellets, one third of them, which are just aimed randomly at, toward the bottom of the screen. So yeah, you can uh, you can dodge most of the of the pellets by just doing large movements and macro dodging. Which Yuka isn't good, uh, <laughs> isn't good at. Yeah, because her, yeah, her unfocused speed is head of so it's uh, three three points, yeah, three pixels per, per frame, which is slower than some other characters' focus speed in this game. To <laughs> to give you an example, yeah. And another short round for Otani. One twenty on round yeah, two. Yeah, this is this is getting to the point where I hope he she can clear the game. Please see. Because, yeah, uh, around 2 and 3 are about 3 minutes long. And then starting from round 4, it's uh, 2 minutes. 2 minutes 30 or something. But the rank also goes down every time, so it's a bit easier to, to dodge. Mm hmm. Ichin's also in uh, Eki now. Oh, nice. Has 4 lives. 39 and 1 for Pigeon as well. Let's see how he does. He has 130k score. Yeah, 130 million, I mean. Which is uh, about as much as Otani, so it seems Pigeon is in a, he's in a better spot than Otani so far. Let's go, Pigeon. Also, one thing to say is uh, each, live, uh, each life at the end of, uh, of the game is worth uh, 10 million. So, yeah, you don't want to. <laughs> You don't want to die too much, if possible, unless you you make those lives those lives worth by scoring more than ten million in a round. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you can see, um, you can see that perhaps just uh, I think he just suicided again for one more round. But that's because he he's pretty sure to to score more than uh, ten million. Especially with race and it's not too bad. But yeah, uh, I, yeah, you don't you don't want to I, die too early in the round. I watched some of these racing 800 attempts, and apparently his route is to uh, 
suicide twice on medicine. Then mm -hmm. uh, I think either once or twice on Komachi, and then go until round four or five on Aki. Yeah, that that makes sense. Since uh, uh, medicine just calls a lot more than Komachi at least. Mm -hmm. And we have a 140 round one for Pigeon. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so I don't I, know if he tried to to score on the second round or just uh, survive as long as possible. So it's even surviving could give him some uh, some score on the on the clear bonus. Yeah, we'll see. So far he's doing well sending back the, the bosses. Because Aki's boss is very dangerous also. <laughs> you you really don't want it too long on the screen. Yeah. Right, and if you just decide to survive, then you can actually reflect the bosses because if you were just to score, then your spell points would be maxed at 999. While if you're just surviving, you can reflect the bosses by getting to eat to either 100k, 300k, or 500k spell points. Yeah, exactly. It makes a that's one of the small things that makes a huge difference uh, between scoring and survival play. And uh, because with scoring, you know, if, you, if you want to go the way through scoring, you you need to to deal with the boss on your screen. You can't just uh, send it back. Uh, some characters' bosses are just uh, a huge pain in the ass, if I may say. Yeah. But uh, some are pretty helpful to score, actually. They send a lot of pellets, but it depends on the boss. I would argue medicine boss is useful. Yeah, yeah, except when it sends all, some nasty walls, but for the most part, yeah, it's, uh, it's useful. And Uitani doesn't have any remaining lives, so they need to clear this round. Yeah, we could, we could watch that. He screamed to and pray he... Pray he can us. Can we, can we get some prayers in the chat, please? Please, Lily Spins. <laughs> oh, Lily Spins is perfect. Yeah, Lily Spins in the chat for... <laughs> for, for Otani. There they go, well it's been, there they go. <laughs> I think it's got it. And meanwhile, that parrot is landed to stage 8. And yes, 340 millions. This has quite the potential. Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot entering a uh, stage. Stage uh, 8. Well, he's not beating his world record with that, but... Yeah. He, he might get... He probably get over 600 million at least. Oh, for I sure. Oh, Tanya's having to dodge the boss patterns. Okay. Oh, we have the clear. Nice. Yeah. Well played. 167 Nice Whoa We have arts already <laughs> Oh tiny sentry gun buddy Everything was against me for this Yeah so it is really w w written like Like the Baseball player <laughs> 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 What if it's actually the baseball player you know he just plays a uh, you would be as a, <laughs> yeah. as a hobby, you know. That would be crazy. <laughs> I don't think that'd be too surprising. I think Toho is fairly popular in Japan. Yeah, you know, maybe some... Uh, 
some professional sports players they just they just know about about Toho. MP of being specific. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. For the competitive aspects. Ooh. By the way, that turret is down to last life, but against Komachi is it's not much of a problem because Raisin does amazing against Komachi. If you can get into spell war against Komachi, Raisin does an amazing jo job at keeping it up and having basically input level 2s as long as you don't get sniped by the EX attacks. You can see right now on the screen, he has input level 2s. Is the, the level 1 charge attack is, are going crazy. Yeah, he's getting a lot of gauge right now. Yeah. Raisin oh. does just so well against Komachi. Uh, I say it depends. Like sometimes you can go crazy, but sometimes you can, you can be you, you can be starving. I say, <laughs> like like here for example, he's not having that much gauge, despite uh, trying his best. Yeah, he's waiting like, so, for the boss. Like sometimes I think Komachi is just is jobbing just like in the role, you know. She, she's jobbing in game and she just she doesn't <laughs> give you much <laughs> much gauge for some now. reason. Right now you have the boss on the screen, that, then you, you're sure you're going to have those big chains up on the screen and there we go, look at that, that's amazing. But yeah, then that's again. much better now. Oh, boss because again, that's really boss. nice. <laughs> What's ironic is that if Komachi doesn't give you much gauge and you have to actually dodge all, all of her shit, then it's actually harder to play, to play like that. Yeah. Huge chains for the pirate right now. Look at the score going up. Ooh, past the 400 million bar. Yep. But he's already at 415, so he has to suicide. Hmm. That was a 65 million stage, which is alright for round one. Yeah, it's okay against Komachi. He could have gone worse, so yeah. Should be, Pigeon should be satisfied. Cleared. We have a clear for Pigeon. Nice. That's really nice. We have one life remaining. Okay. It's 181. Is... That's more than Otani then. Nice. Good job, Pigeon. Yeah, well played. At first, I thought that was Sanai. It was <laughs> heart, but it was just the, the alt color um, Yuka. <laughs> Ending Broker by Eastern Mouse again. Okay. Thanks for the credits. And Pigeon is back to Yuka again. I guess he's going to try to improve his, co his score. So it's all time. Yep. Looks like it. More Yuka action. Okay, second round of Yuka then. I want to point out, we've been here for more than half an hour and that pirate is still on stage 8. <laughs> yeah, he's just going uh Full scoring, full, full shmup, you know. <laughs> <laughs> full shmup. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he went, uh, he went, uh, yeah, crazy on the on the suicides and also on the stalling. So, uh, yeah, it shows you how how long your credit lasts if you if you go really really serious about it. And uh, why well, you? I mean, if you try to squeeze out as much score as you can. Mm -mm -mm. He gets it, but he had a pretty good beginning of the round because uh, compared to round one, I feel like round two Komachi is much harder to chain for um, a spell war. Yeah, yeah since the rank is lower, it's, uh, it's harder. Definitely, and I think uh, Komachi has the biggest different b difference between round one and round two. Ooh. 
he used a fast, uh, an instant charge, so he has no no gauge left. Mm. Ah, but thankfully the Komachi was short on her timer, so she died anyway. All right, so four for six millions entering stage nine round one. He will hit himself once, so he can have a little bit of gauge for uh, when he has to enter spell war. And now there are some some things that uh, Rulu has to hope for. First. He has to hope that Aki uses a lot of level 2s, especially after Lily really shows up, because level 2s uh, by Aki uh, have a crazy amount of pellets stacked on top of each other, which um, are very useful to get chains going. Then he's, he wants the Aki boss to um, use that omnidirectional attack that goes in all directions with uh, those with pellets and he wants to cancel that at the origin so on top of Eki and next he wants to uh, he doesn't wait for Lily I guess there she goes there she is Lily now he has to dodge and get those level twos out and let's hope he can get to spell war because that's the hardest, hardest part of our race and then he has already got hit uh please yeah, you can see those hot dogs are just very quick we have a level 2 for Aki, maybe we can get to Spell Ward, yes! Oh, we don't have a boss though, it's going slowly. I think Rural will be out of gauge soon and he is, but he can get back to level 2. Can he go on with a boss? We have a level 2! Oh, not in the corner, oh. he can get it out. <laughs> Oh, where yeah, is he? A... Where is he going? He gets up to level 2. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice my dodge. God. I literally lost, lost track of him at some point. He just smoothed around the entire screen. But he's not like, but he's in a good position. He is in the spell war. He can go distances with this. We have another level 2. This is good. This is really good. But he's, he's being pushed down, which is really bad. He gets the level 2 out just before all thugs kill him oh. again. He can... Now he regains a bit of height to go higher on the screen and get the level 2 height. Oh, please. He's going all out. Yeah, he's good now. He's good now. Just just don't get sniped when you release those level 2s. Just because hope she doesn't you really spawn want to fight for your height there. <laughs> Oh, amazing job here, amazing. Oh, please don't get pushed down. Oh. No level 3, unfortunate, but he has the chain going. It's all good as long as he doesn't get sniped and pushed down to the bottom of the screen. Yeah. And the suicide zone of spirits. Oh. Ah. That's very oh. unfortunate. Oh, I can feel he was kind of triggered by that. Yeah. Ran right into it. Running into spirit is such a mood. Yeah, if you've played PoV long enough, it's, it's, it's surely happened That's to you many times. So yeah, you could see what stage now round one looks like at the highest level. Yeah, and at least consider it was still a, a good round one, I would say. Yep. He got uh, around... 60 mil, which is all right. Now, from round two onwards, I think he's going to, I think he's going to score each round, but uh, the potential of these, these rounds are much lower, but he can still get uh, a good 50, 40, 30, 60 million out of them if he, get, if he gets lucky enough and if he can get a good chain going. Oh, so AP sending level 2, this might be a good round if he, get, yeah. if he can get the chain now. Yeah, it's going well. Oh no.
What was the, the timer for round 2 again? Uh, 3 minutes 20 seconds and he stalled a, a bit at the beginning. Alright, so that will be around 4.15 again if he wants a suicide. Which I think he will. And regarding the pace, we're definitely looking at a run which surpasses the 600 mm mark. Oh, he got hit. Ooh. Ooh. Last life. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, that one was fast. Did he get charged with? Uh, maybe. I see he has no gauge. Oh, that's that's rough. Uh, basically, what charge glitch is? Um, if you release a level one, level two, level three, level four, when you get hit right after, um, you just don't get the gauge back and uh, good luck with surviving. <laughs> yeah. And it especially it's sucks on your last hit because normally you get all of your gauge back. Exactly. You could have been all the way to uh, level 4 with your gauge, but good luck one with your level 1. Oof. I was doing very well. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that, that must have been an accident, or, or maybe not. Which was more than 40 mil, so I guess it's still fine score-wise. Yeah, very, very fine. Like, he's surely getting into the 600 mil mark, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Also, this is the first round he didn't stall since a long time. <laughs> yeah, maybe he just wants to get over with it, I don't know. Yeah. And it would make sense, we've been here for more than 40 minutes at this point, <laughs> I think. <laughs> By the way, uh, if he clears or not, he will be number one right now, because as you can see from the layout, they require the score to beat Pigeon, who is first at the moment, is 354 million, which he surpassed in stage 7, I believe. Yeah. He's so just made difference. Yeah. At this point, it's... We're seeing to how long we can get in can go. He got the GI item. Nice. Because yeah, you can get uh, some items if you kill the boss for Lily Whites. And uh, one of them is the GI item which uh, refills your gauge completely. So, yeah. You, I mean, your spell gauge. So, you're pretty happy when you see that one. Mm -hmm. Although, killing the boss uh, or Lily White isn't. Uh, very easy for everyone. It's not really worth the the hassle for most characters. As soon as I said that, my mind immediately went to the Tewi secret technique. <laughs> <laughs> In case you don't know. Uh, Tewi has a really funny flamethrower as a level 1, and if you use it on top of Lily, she gets obliterated. Yeah. I say a flamethrower, we, we don't even really know what it is. <laughs> I think we should, we should ask soon one day, what, what is it supposed to be? I wish I knew. I like calling it the flamethrower. It kind of seems like a slam though. I never really even thought about that until I see it it off. <laughs> yeah, but where do the frames come out from? 
Well, well I can't. Well, I could tell you for lots of frames. Her hands. <laughs> <laughs> Clear from Rurulu. 627, that's a great score. Nice. Very good. Just getting it out, getting it casually. Over 600k, 600 million, I mean. <laughs> nice pronunciation. Thank you. I practiced it. <laughs> So yeah, we started at, we started at 110 reset timer. We are now below 60. <laughs> Just one run. That was what 15 minutes. Yeah. 15 minutes of good time. I love Ruru. He's a Chad. <laughs> As you see, he doesn't even enter his his uh, leaderboard nearly. Yeah, that's crazy. I wonder what he's going to do now. Is he going to continue with Raisin? Is he going to switch to someone like Lyrica or Aki? Who knows? Yeah, I wanted to. Why is there an 806 there? It was done yesterday. It's the new world record. I just realized there's an oh, be image okay. with, um, where tiny screen kind of blocking some of it. Oh. Oh, can you please fix it? Should be closing in the 70, I just. Tani has been in early game for quite a while now. I hope you can get another run in. Well, we Pigeon. Just has been really consistent and is back to stage 6. There's still plenty of reset time for Tani to get out of early game. Yeah, that's true. Let's try to stop a little bit around, actually. Got the double with the, the boss. Cool. Hmm, interesting. I uh, I was checking. Um, you can see that on, on the layout. Yuka needs 359 mil to beat this certain score, which is a big amount. Yeah. Oh, well, only Rudolu himself has a has a Yuka score higher than that. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Please. But yeah, Thank I think you. both players now are required to PB by a long margin if they want to get first place. Oh no, Raisin is on the overall world record, by the way, for the comments. It's, uh, ah. it's still A key. A key? Oh, <laughs> oh my. Uh -oh, what are you <laughs> speaking of the devil? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We'll see if I get tricky again with uh, the spawn. Uh, I don't know what to expect from this run. This could be either the greatest run ever seen, <laughs> or... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it really depends on the stage 9 performance. This point could be reasonable to have 100 base. I hope we, we can get to see a crazy stage 9, because... Eki faces Reimu in stage 9, and she's much easier to survive against compared to Eki, so we could see a very long round 1 if we rule as well. For reference, his world record of 1.1 billion survives stage 9 round 1 for 23 minutes. Can you imagine playing a single one for 23 minutes? I, I, I can't. Hey, that's as long as a score run of uh, Bay was. I think that's longer than a lot of games. 
I think that's longer than a moth once he sees us. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, it might be. <laughs> good, good space. Let's make sure that I go to the left at least before we do this. So this I gave to three uh, restringer. Oh, he resets. Still going Aikido, so I'm happy. Oh, maybe he's going for Cherno in stage one. Yeah, makes sense. She's she does she she gives a little bit more score compared to Mistia. Yeah. yeah. In the meanwhile, Pigeon is stage 7, round 1. Let's see if he can get a big chain going against Aya. The Pigeon was just kind of stuck against the left uh, side of the screen for a couple, I guess, attacks of Aya. But they were able to get out of it. Yeah, that's what Aya does. Just getting you stuck on the on one side of the screen. With her um, aimed attacks. Usually yeah. you just go from uh, one corner to the other and you you hope you have gauge to, to cut back. To restream, I mean. Oh, the snipe! That's a uh, rough hit. Oh, no, no, those butterflies were so quick. That's Not the risk when playing against such a fast boss on your screen. Yeah, yeah her boss has two attacks which are just very quick and hard to dodge. Yeah, those are the butterflies and the random spam. <laughs> yeah, the random bullshit. <laughs> That's really what it is. <laughs> oh boy, PFP and random bullshit. That goes very well together. <laughs> oh, pretty thirty round. That's oh, she died in stage one. That, in round one, I mean, that's maybe that's bad, but yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure if he stole actually. But, yeah, I didn't see. Uh, I mean, score, score wise, he's he's doing well. Yeah, that's true. He has all the chances to beat his PB. I think with a good. With a good AK, he could be on his way to 200 mil. Yeah. That also depends on how combat he goes. Hopefully yeah. there's no train wreck. Well, I say that he gets hit. As we, as we said earlier, Komachi round 1 is especially dangerous for Yuka. Yeah, he can go wrong in, in so many ways. Okay, past the one minute mark for Pigeon, now we're getting to the action. The EX attackers start clumping up on Pigeon's side, and you can see he has to dodge a lot, and he's all the way down to oh, last no life gauge. already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if he had gauge, he could have cancelled that, but unfortunately, it was barely not enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, the dodges! Yeah. Nice. Oof! <laughs> oh. That was close. Ah, oh, no, yeah, okay. That was uh, around 150, round 1. I'd I haven't kept track of, oh, oh, kept track of the score though. Yeah, he still did well, I'd say. Oh, nice then. Also, meanwhile, uh, look, look, look at his score. <laughs> yeah, just out of stage casually, one. casually getting more than 30 mil out of stage one. 
it would be a uh, uh, key power. Something like one. Oh, it's not enough to, to save it up. Oh, We're totally on the same way now. B140 place period for uh, these things. Uh, 33 oh. mil. In stage 6, okay. Oh, meanwhile, Pigeon is in us on um, his last life on round 2. That seems dangerous. Yeah, please don't get sniped. I think he wants the round 2 clear against Komachi. Oh, he gets it. Nice. Oh, she died early, actually. <laughs> but that's, early. A, that's a good thing in this case. Yep. Stage 9 for Pigeon. Can he get a good round 1? Can he survive the A key? 190. That seems a bit off. Did he get 130 before, so... He gets it. Nice. Bingo square. We got a hit on the other one. As opposed to what uh, Rulu and Otani did, he did not wait for Lily on round one, which is fair. I've seen that once. So we better not there do that. I wonder with Fuka what your mentality should be for round one. Is it like uh, get to um, max spell score and then survive as long as possible, or do we, do you also go for resets and try to survive until you get to a more favorable um, situation to start roll twoing? Yeah, I think it's better to go to play safe if you're not having. If you see you, you kind of uh, misengage or. And the, if the boss is on the screen, because I think it's hard to 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 score to score a lot if, as long as the boss is here. Yeah. Because uh, the boss, uh, she doesn't send that many pellets. The one attack that sends pellets, uh, the pellets are very fast when she when they spawn. So if you send them to Aki side and Aki sends them back. Then, yeah, uh, the pellets are just very, very fast, and uh, if they go through the portals, it's even worse. So you, you, you don't want, uh, you don't want that to happen. Pigeon, pigeon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pigeon guy. Oh, that that would be insane. <laughs> he was popping off. <laughs> I think he still had a nice uh, round one, though. Yeah, that was good. So, maybe I could get 180 if I get some luck, if uh, not they get stupid here. It would be good. Okay. It would happen anyway, but... I was doing a quick check, and... Um, apparently, Rulu, if he wants to improve his current recent score, he has to get at least 664 mil with... Eki. Around yeah, that. Yeah, that, that's fair. That's fair, yeah. All well, that depends on his uh, performance on uh, against Reimu for the most part. Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, Reisen is much better, I'd say, the, at everything else uh, besides stage 9. But, but Eki can just survive uh, much longer on him. On stage nine, where she plays against the uh, rain and not uh, and not herself. <coughs> yeah, that's true. Stage nine makes that big of a difference. And in fact, on uh, on other difficulties, um, Brazen is the top score. Like I think that's the case for easy and extra, at least at the moment. Yeah, because uh, oh, on these difficulties, the stage nine round one has a limited. Uh, timer, so you can't just uh, Don't go as well. yeah, you can't just uh, milk uh, and survive eternally like uh, like you would in 
in higher difficulties. So the SN is much better for that. Mm -hmm. Also, Pigeon died uh, quite early in that, uh, on that second round. He died at 130, around 130, yeah. That's rough. Uh, he's at... Okay, he's at 140 right now. Uh, I think this can PB. Yeah, I think it can. Mm, although he needs to survive a bit longer on this. Yeah, yeah. On, on this uh, round. And maybe score a bit also. The image on oh, okay. tiny screens really annoying this poor Aya. <laughs> oh, he's struggling. Yeah, that's a reset. That's unfortunate. We'll boss, I guess. Okay, thanks. By the way, I just noticed... No, that's not a good answer. Oh, uh, Aki took... two very early hits and she was down to last life just at 110, which is... very unusual. <laughs> Oh, you mean she was not the last life after two hits? She was last life at 110. <laughs> well, hopefully, Pigeon can then uh, close it out on this. Oof, <laughs> what are what these dodges? Dude, Pigeon is going crazy with the dodges. Maybe he can clear on this round, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, because if he doesn't clear there, he might ah. lose such. Oh no. No, oh, he went in the wrong direction. Yeah. He had the gauge, he had the he had almost a little two out. Ah. Oh, that's sad. I think his chances of PV are very low now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Looks like it. Not good enough that I get some stupid hits uh, out of the way. Poor Tiny just died. Uh, at 3 minutes on the first round. Yeah, he went pretty far, though, so that was a good uh, a good first round, I guess. I think losses would be good for bonus, I guess. Alright, I forgot it's, it's fit for the perfect. Yeah. And I should not go this side. Let's we'll see how much he has after stage 7. And I it's, think uh, I can make. I can imagine the pace from there on. This much nicer. Be a 150 round at this point. But will Pigeon clear on round 4? I can ensure the win, but I have to. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, last life again. Uh, uh, Pigeon oh, just he just ran into, into, into that. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. activated <laughs> behind. I guess he just forgot about that spirit existing, and yeah. I think he's got it. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Well, that is a PB. I can. 187. Oh, 187. Okay, so that's a PB then. Very nice. Nice. That's a, that's a 6 mil improvement for Pigeon. He gets a good score to have a more solid second place. As. Otani, which is stage 8 with, uh, I believe that's 96 millions. Yeah, 96. Okay. I think he's a bit, a bit behind Pigeon. Mm, I think that's a better pace than his last run, though. Really? Okay. I'm not sure, actually. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember for sure, but I feel like this <laughs> yeah. is better. I don't remember. 
It's so hard for me to see his score, to be honest. Let's hope Otani can survive the Komachi round one. Yeah. And also the Rory entered stage 6 with 93 Whoa. million. And a key plays against Marisa. So if you want to watch that, you can see, uh, you will see a uh, laser hell. <laughs> Yeah, now Ruru is out of early game and we'll start seeing some crazy rounds from here onwards. I guess Pigeon is taking a break or something. Makes sense, he's got two good rounds back to back. And Pia is kind of uh, tiresome. Mm. Both players doing well at the moment. Mm -hmm. The reason Eki is good at scoring is not only that she has that super long round one potential, but her level two and boss can do a good job at um, creating pellets on screen, especially the level two, because the level two. Um, has stacked pellets and if the opponent manages to reflect them it's going to cause a big mess and create a, what we call a shitstorm on your side yeah on top of that she also has a high uh, unfocus speed and uh, her scope is also very good because it uh, it activates very quickly and is relative, relatively large to Cash for the spirits at the, around the top of the screen. Yep. So that's why she is very good. Oh, it's not a. Yeah, it's not trivial either. Like you see, he is having a. He's struggling a bit. He took two hit, two hits. <laughs> I'm gonna say when I play Eki, I always die to stage six, Marisa. I just can't deal with it. <laughs> yeah, I do too. <laughs> yeah. But even if you have all the gauge in the world, you still have to dodge those lasers. So, yeah. Marissa is a bit of a pain because of that. Yeah, because you might be trapped between two lasers and you have the biggest storm coming your way. So, you have a lot of vertical dodges to do. Oh, but he's, uh, but nice he's doing fine though. now. Yeah, he's doing fine. Yeah, he's scoring a lot. And probably, get, probably getting to the end of the round. Yeah, he's doing like... He's doing what he did with that medicine round one. Get two early hits, but then get to a great chain and going all the way to four minutes on last life. Oh, he's getting pushed a bit to the bottom. Yeah, he has no boss right now, so he has to be careful with level 2 usage, but the boss is back. So yeah, he's saving on on his uh, level 2s a bit. Yeah. Yeah, you need to be very clever with the usage of your level 2s. Yeah, because sometimes you, 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 you might be tempted to use it uh, when as soon as any danger pops up, but... Yeah, sometimes you want to wait for a boss attack or an enemy spell before using it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also meanwhile, Otani, he, um, so he cleared uh, stage 8 on the first round, which was very good. And he entered the uh, stage 9, about uh, 800 or 14 mil or something. And he's having a great round one if I'm... If I'm yeah, seeing this card, please. Yeah, wow. he's, he's in bonus land now. Somehow. Wow, that's 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 amazing for Yuka. Look at that! Oh! Not sure if he might saw you. Yeah, oh yeah, no, no, no. Oh. That was yeah, yeah. quite a round. 
if he had delayed that, that spell a bit more, he might have cleared the, the, the boss attack, but unfortunately. Still a great round. He got quite, yeah. quite out of score, and I think he's back on a pace that might compete with Pigeon. Yeah, at least he's definitely on the, on the pace to beat his uh, TW speed. For sure. Lots, lots of action on all, on all of the sides, and we have Pigeon going back to Yuka, he's yeah. still going with that. We have Otani in stage 9, round 2, and he might get second place in this run if he plays well. And we have Dead Parrot on stage 7, round 1, at last life, very early in the he's round. He's already on last life, that's, <laughs> uh, that's dangerous. Oh. He hasn't even restarted his coin. Oh my! <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, that that must be upsetting. Ah, uh, that's sad. Is this the end of the AK adventure? Doesn't look like it. it's still going AK. Yes. Oh, what is he doing? Is he is he going to practice now? <laughs> He's yeah, he's using a glitch to skip stages, but I don't know what. Or maybe he's going to stage 9 just to show off. I don't know. I guess that's what it is. I don't know, but I'm all for it. Yeah, screw, screw the match. Just, uh, just show, <laughs> just show <laughs> us uh, AK versus, versus Raven. Ladies and gentlemen, this is stage 9, round 1. A key versus Raymond. Oh, meanwhile, Otani died on second round. Survived two minutes. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad score-wise. Is is going up quite a lot. Okay, place your bets. How long is this stage 9 round 1 going to last? I'm going to say, uh, yeah, 12 minutes. Okay. Uh, I have no clue. <laughs> Probably about 10. <laughs> I'm gonna be uh, saying 8. We both went to, well, we all went down by two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it wasn't mentioned that staying on focus can uh, improve the fairy spawn rate. But it is true, because basically if you... Um, if you keep fo focusing, uh, the fairies just uh, spawn once at a time. The fairy trains, and not you can't have multiple fairy trains on the on the screen. So it's important to unfocus the, a bit, at least a, a few times, and not just stay focused all the time, <laughs> which uh, you don't want to anyway, uh, movement-wise in PvP. Yeah, because PvP isn't really a micro dodging heavy game; it's more macro heavy. So you you don't want to stay focused a lot. Yeah, and also Otani died on a well, died on a round three. I feel like he didn't score much this time. Yeah, you're correct. He got a very important hit, hit. So now he has to deal with round four, and I I think he wants to clear now. Yeah, betting Pigeon might be hard with this score, but getting a PB seems at least possible. Yeah, he's definitely getting a PB. Uh, 
How much is a life worth? 10 mil. Yeah, we are approaching the end of the run for Otani. He only has our, around 30 seconds to go. I think they got this. Yeah, they got this, definitely. Any time now? There he goes! That's nice, well played. Ooh! 182. So close. Ooh, that was close, yeah. It would have beaten uh, Pigeon's previous PB. Yeah. But that's going to be a good improvement for Otani, but he remains in third place for now. And he has 29 minutes to go to get another PB. Will he go Yuka again? I think at this point, uh, I don't think he's going to switch characters. Like, he's got already two runs with Yuka. Maybe uh, changing your mentality and your muscle memory for another character might not be the greatest choice at the moment. I don't know. Yeah, I'd be surprised if they switch characters. We'll see. He's moving the image? <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> we have the entire screen now, let's go. Oh, Tiny might, might be Sorry. taking a break. <laughs> While Rurulu <laughs> is going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> They're on your past two though, so... Yeah, I saw him getting bullied by uh, Raymus level 2, just, just like right now, for example. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. Because, uh, they have a good job for me. Usually, usually the bots don't go as crazy with level 2s and level 3s, but sometimes they might get into a cycle where they uh, send so many level 2s at once and yeah. against Remu is it's extremely dangerous Oh, what? Like that? Oh, <laughs> oh no, that's, that's a charge that's really uh, Oh, that might be over Yeah That was 650 6 4, yeah that's still very good. Ah, I win. I win. He's the going prediction. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were oh no, he's going for an actual run. But yeah, so 144 million in just one round. That's a... That's a lot. That's big. And we have the confirmation of Aki's choice on that part of the screen. He's going for the Aki high score. Uh, I'll be right back. T TWC break. Alright. <laughs> now we have even common pitters going to <laughs> TWC. <laughs> <the> TWC Classic. <laughs> This is quite a long match, so it's understandable to take a break. Makes sense. Yeah, still not good at. Yeah, everyone is doing the TWC. Players, comms, chat. <laughs> Next can be broadcasters, but they probably already do that. <laughs> oh, that's if they don't. I was right, Lorenzo. 
TWC. If you if you would do imagine if everyone does does the TWC all of all at once and like all the players sit still, the commentators commentators go silent, everyone in chat <laughs> goes away for like one minute and then they're all back like nothing happened. Seems like there's a sound being played. Uh, I'm back. I haven't heard it. Yeah, with. Yeah, I'm back. I think comms done. Like Welcome place. back. Uh, some sound happened. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't have the. I don't have the stream sound on actually, so maybe I didn't hear it. I did have good luck though, because she did use like two. We're clueless. We don't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, did it come from uh, from uh, from me actually? I don't know. Nice bomb. Because I had the uh, I had the um, the cask and yeah, the helmet near uh, near my computer, which is a uh, which is heating a bit. So maybe maybe you heard the fans. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> That probably was, was what was being picked up. Uh, lost for. Oh, we have Otani. He's back. <laughs> he runs again with Yuka. Get this hit on this. He's only like the, the strong guy. It could be good for them as well. It's kind of a rare occasion. It's like kind of difficult to do with a. Uh, so everyone is back to early game and there are 23 minutes remaining. Uh, I think that means we have one run remaining for each player. Yeah, I'd say so if they don't obviously uh, reset anywhere. Yeah. That's scary. I think we should focus a little bit more on, on Pigeon right now. He's the furthest right now, and we haven't really talked about much about Yuka and what she does in in the earlier stages. Oh, Pigeon just got uh, Sakyo EX attack hitboxed. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Those, those EX attacks hitboxes just are awful. Uh, yeah, they're awful. They have the biggest hitboxes ever. Just to not go up on this, I guess. Eh. Being scary. Okay, never mind. Yeah, behind. Yeah. Let's see. It depends on the lane as depends on the lane as well. I guess it's quickly for this. You can only survive like 2 minutes. Uh, the knives, uh, does he attacks as far as I know, have... Um, there are single objects, right? But the hitboxes are a series of circles, as far as I know. Yeah. Unless I could go, I could go for the... Yeah, it's the really wack. That's <laughs> all I can say. Yeah. I just need the so much that us in the PFV community, when we get hit by those EX attacks, we say that we... Not too much we get hit by spicy air. <laughs> yeah, spicy air, that's a, that's a good I way to put spicy it. Spicy air. When you get hit by nothing but the air is spicy, so you get hit. And yeah, then the funny thing is the actual knives are very small in comparison. Like you can get in a, you can have a sprite almost entirely in the in the blade, 
part of the sprites and you and you still don't get hit because it's just a smaller uh, a small um, square on the other handle so yeah yep. it's just zoom things okay The zoom still does weird things with the boxes. It's just crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's tall 19 also has uh, some spicy hitboxes. Alright, in tall 19 there's also <laughs> there's spicy air return we pour in. I will do spirits. So well, then, the, 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 yeah, go ahead. Uh, sometimes you do get randomly hit when you're playing as Orin. Oh, as I, Orin. I believe, <laughs> like I know I've I know like I've been hit when I was playing as Orin. It just by nothing. I'm, there's nothing in the screen, and I just get hit. And I'm like, what did hit me? <laughs> Spicy air moment. Oh no, pigeon reset. Oh, damn. <laughs> Invisible full moon. Is the same thing with the, with the spicy air? I don't know. We do have two buddies on screen. Someone said that in chat. <laughs> Alrighty. Lulu and Otani are approaching mid-game. Hopefully they can get to hit 6 and start real scoring soon. Yeah, Otani was having some, uh, some nice dodges against Terry. Nice. In general, if you play Yuka, you have to dodge more because if you're slow, you can't misdirect pallets that much. So, as we said earlier, micro dodging, which is a big part of your feet, uh, you can't do that much with Yuka. So, the U, mu the U movements you do around the screen will always result you in having to do some little do dodges here and there to. Uh, fix what you couldn't do with the, with the speed of the character. Yeah. Ah, Rudo is uh, he's going, he's going very hard. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, um, he got all thirty minutes so, okay. out of that stage four. Amazing. I was gonna say is the same pace as last run, but he had that score entering stage 6. Yeah. So he has one stage of advantage. Hopefully, uh, the parrot doesn't get affected by the spicy air, as we were discussing earlier. 
Oh, meanwhile, we'll turn you on last knife against Yomu. Oof. He's fine. <laughs> it seemed like he, he was gonna crash into the EX, at, EX attack. Ruro <laughs> just uh, just uh, despawned uh, Sakuya's level three. It's uh, well, it's funny yeah. if you if you get at the bottom of the screen and you you move in the right way, you just uh, just get almost all of the spell sp despawning out of screen. Yeah, I think only two knives <laughs> were able to escape from the bottom of the screen. I love Sakuya and PFP. <laughs> you, not only you have spicy air, all the memes, but you can also play the epic Sa Sakuya mirror in PvP. Yeah, this character is so wack in many ways, it's, it's funny. Moving really time both stops. Sakuya on both sides of the screen will benefit from a time stop ability. Yeah. Where she can move during the time stop. But then the, your opponent can can too, so it's it, it does it doesn't make any sense. I mean it does, but it's <laughs> it's just re really funny. Also, one thing with her time stop is that um, it uh, it interrupts the the bullet clearing. I mean the screen clearing from the level two normally. So uh, her screen clearing with with her spells is a uh, is smaller than with. <laughs> other characters which gives her a big disadvantage compared to yeah compared to others and uh, yeah that's why she's not yeah. a very good character for the most part in fact surviving with Sakuya is very difficult yeah and that was Corp is also weird and uh yeah sometimes when playing Sakuya you get you can you can get uh, a very messy situation in which you send uh, a boss with the 500k spell points, but that puts on a level three as well, which oh, will yeah. stop the time. And if you were charging a level two in the time and release it, you will have a situation in which the time stops actual time stop actually doesn't cancel shit, and you have all the pellets you had on screen before. On you, and you, and there's nothing you can do. Yeah, you're definitely very happy when when that happens. <laughs> so it's like you have, it's like you have to actually be be careful about your, but when you're reaching 500k, so so it doesn't happen. Yep. Because other that, that well, if you if you expect it, you can just let it happen, and uh, you can benefit a lot from the from the time stop. True. So Ruru is against uh, Eki, while Otan is against Leimu. And uh, Ruru is on his last life. Just oh, Otan like also. You know, uh, I think it was like a month ago. I I caught um, Atsumori stream and he was playing PvP Sakuya Mirror. And he got some crazy rounds, like they were all uh, four, four to five minutes long each, and I was Whoa. really amazed. <laughs> we have some uh, crazy Sakuya players out there. Yep. We don't need, oh, we don't oh, need oh, to get Yeah. Also, that power got hit. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's rough. Like, uh, they they spent like uh, what, what was that? Thirteen minutes or so getting to stage six, and mm. now we have ten minutes remaining. Well, I guess he's not resetting this one. Yeah. Well, he was quite ahead uh, score-wise before that. 
Yeah, that's I fine. I mean, you know, as long as the uh, stage 911 goes okay, it's anything is fine with, uh, with this shot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you get the good stage 911. Yeah, exactly. Nothing a perfect Raymu can't fix. <laughs> Stealing the quote from my end. Okay, stage 7 for Otani. Okay, is his score entering stage 7? I think this is higher than higher compared to the last runs. So if he can get a good mm. stage 7 run 1, I think he could be once again on good pace to BT his PB. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a good chain going. He didn't stall for Lily, which is an interesting choice. Yeah, maybe for safety reasons. Yeah, maybe it's that. Since he doesn't often get to the end of the round, so, so he might just want to survive longer. Almost four. Seeing how you can deal with Aya right now, and sometimes, even though her charged attack is such a widespread shot, sometimes she has either um, difficulty with reaching up on the screen, some fairies or spirits, or she cancels, she cancels stuff on the other side of the screen where she's going, and using too much level 1. Uh, may cause you to get trapped. It's really complicated. Yeah, yeah sometimes the, the spread shot is, uh, is not your ally. Let's say, let's put it like that. Yeah. Because maybe speed, the speed here isn't really too important on Aya since a lot of the stuff you do is streaming sideways. But it really comes down to the vertical reach here. Yeah, and it's hard to stay high on the screen. Especially if the boss is here. Yeah, like you're the, you have the, the spam. Oh, nice dodge just there. Ooh. And this trap. Ooh. I think he's approaching the end of the round though, so he might get a full round here without having to die. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't die. We are past 3 minutes. Oh, okay. Nice. Wait, no. Oh, I thought that was. Oh, I no. no! Ah, that one pellet. Uh, she died a couple <laughs> seconds earlier than usual. And <laughs> that was yeah. unfortunately with Tommy. No, just two pellets in the way. Still, that was basically a full round, so that that's mm. good and. He can still get more than 10 mil out of round 2, so let's yeah. hope he can get that. Yeah, let's hope he, he can end on round 2 and also get some score along the way. Uh, meanwhile, Lulu, Lulu is getting. is also going crazy. On stage oh. 7. Yeah. 
Aki Aya as the matchup and he's keeping up quite a big chain on top of the screen. Wow. He gets the G item. But now he has to go back high on the screen and hope that Aya sends a boss. There we go. Instantly reflected what? Okay. I'm assuming Rulu did stall for Lily here, so we're going all the way until 4.15 before the suicide. Whoa, uh, that was dangerous. <laughs> yeah, the dodges were insane. I just dodging between the EX attack. Because Maybe. it's the EX attack or aims, but uh, there's a delay between the moment they spawn and the moment they reach you. And they reach you very quickly, so it can uh, take you off by, by surprise, I'll say. Yep. Yeah, also, not to that, they also uh, bounce off the, the sides of the screen. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say, that's the biggest danger they have, I think. Yeah, yeah, if you go high on the screen, then you have a bunch of them bouncing off uh, at the bottom. And if you, if you don't if you don't keep track of them, and they bounce off the of the screen, you can't react to them. They're just too fast. We're approaching the suicide. There we go. It's the most frustrating most thing about her attacks, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And while Rulu yeah, yeah, that was a suicide, yeah, that yeah. was a suicide. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> And while Rulu is stalling, we have Otani on stage 8, round 1. Being brutal as always. Yeah, at least he made it out of uh, of stage 7. Yep. Relatively safe. Relatively clear is good. Oh, it's <laughs> it's not going very well. Oh, he's all at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, he's been pushed down a lot. It's going to be out of gauge very soon. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh too bad. Uh, is he, he'll be looking for a round 2 clear, but we can say that his score is, is pretty good at the moment, I think. Uh, well, I, I, I just noticed uh, Ruru is going for the double Lily stall on round 2. Yeah, I think that's even the third one now. He's waiting for. Should be the second one, I think. Uh, well, maybe the third one? Oh, I don't know. I yeah, the third one, because uh, she spawns uh, faster um, yeah. after each minute. Let's see if he gets rewarded for, each, for his choice. There's about a minute left of reset time. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I think unless unless Pigeon resets in stage four, I think we have our final runs. Yeah. Oof. Rulu 
Bolt's in danger. Yeah, he got trapped on the left. He bombed? I guess he wasn't feeling it. He sent back the boss, so now it's not too bad. He can oh, this he is has time to get back his gauge. Oh, five, four, three, two, one. Final mm -hmm. run! Okay, it's final run. Well, nice. He's getting into stage eight. And all time he got into stage nine. I yeah, think all of action right now. Are in a much better position than Pigeon because at least they're in late game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all time he it, seems to be on a, on a nice run. If he manages to get uh, run one like last time, he's definitely on a brilliant pace to get second place. Yeah. Oh, level 2 from Aki. Uh, what are you doing? He didn't, he didn't use level 2, then he got hit very early. Please. Oh, did he forget to to take a hit at the start, I think? And that's why he didn't have a level 2. Ah, I see. Yeah, because uh, yeah, Lilia against Eki is uh, even more dangerous as than usual. Since uh, all of her bullets also spawn uh, some hot dogs. So yeah, it's, not, it's not very funny. <laughs> oh, you are struggling, dude. No, too many hot dogs, not many resources to get gauge from. Uh, okay. We're surviving, we're surviving. Going to be out of gauge quickly, and the spirit <laughs> runs into Otani oh. at the two minute mark. Just um, with so many spear in that today. Yeah, spirits. Spring's being harsh today. I think he's still on a good pace to get the PB, so let's see if he can get a good clear. Uh, lots of action as Dead Pebbert is last life on stage 8 from 1. Uh, how do you feel uh, about the Eki Komachi matchup in story mode? Uh, if it's kind of random, like sometimes it's. Uh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you can just uh, chain oh number God. 2, and sometimes she. You just don't get much, and you have to dodge a, a lot of uh, a lot of shit. Why well, not scoring lots? How does he yeah. do that? <laughs> Another instant charge. He's back to level one. Can he back back to level two? Yeah, um, he can't even send the boss what? back. <laughs> what crazy dodge! Yeah, Why that yeah. was nice. Or was going yeah. scoring wise, it wasn't that nice, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. He, he he got on the second minute rain earlier. I wonder how long we're gonna see now. Hopefully as long as uh, as we can. Mm -hmm. Imagine if the match just uh, just never ends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have all the time in the world right now. Go as far as you like. Yeah, it's okay. I'm free for the for the next week, or the next week at least. Same. Well, not, I, I have an exam soon, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have exams now? Or? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> no, no summer break. Uh, will be after this exam. Okay.
Okay, so... Right now, Hururu is preparing for the spell war against Reimu. We have Otani in round 3 against Eki. Still looking to be a decent score, that which will probably PB, I'd say. And finally, Pigeon still in stage 6. But we'll see after these two runs how he's doing. So let's focus on our two players in stage 9 right now. Rurulu has entered Spellboard in Streamu. Very nice. He has, he has full life. Looking really strong. But he has a long way to go. He wants to get a score that beats his recent PB. I guess he wants at, at least um, 250 mil from this round if he wants to compete with his rating score, maybe 200. Between that, between 220 uh, to 250 mil, hmm. I'd say. We can still get a lot of score from the second and third ones sometimes. Yeah. A really strong from Rurulu here. He has the Raven Boss on screen. Yes, he's getting the gauge back. Very nice. He's really thinking the level 2s up on the screen very confidently. But here comes Raymond with the level 2s and he's pushed down to the bottom of the screen. He has to regain his fight once again. Another level 3 from Raymond. Yeah, because Ravage 3 is also really painful. But there's a. He's aimed, <laughs> rings aiming uh, multiple times at you. Yep. And also, Otani is very close to the round 3 clear, which would be huge if just uh, like 20 seconds away from it. But he's on last life and oof, he's low on gauge. Oh, he's this could. Hopefully, he's okay. Yeah, I think I think he's okay. Uh, I don't know, no. guys. I don't know. I don't know. This. Oh, 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 oh. Anytime, uh, Aki can screw you up in just a few seconds. <laughs> it's the Aki special, dude. <gasps> Please. Oh, the dodging. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> nice. Nice. What oh, that? that? One hundred and eight. Wait, one hundred ninety. Is it ninety? Yeah, this is. 196, I think, if I'm reading correctly. That's yeah. huge! That's huge for Motani. Yeah, huge. really nice for him. That makes him go to second place with a really strong run. Step yeah, Pigeon, we have to respond to that. Oh, we are. <laughs> Meanwhile, that power is getting cornered by, right. by oh, level 3. Back to the <laughs> it's on charge. Oh, he got his gauge back. Yeah, he bombed, then he went through a ring of frame, and then he gets his gauge back, and now he's back to level 2 and at the top of the screen he gets hit. Woo. Oh no! On <laughs> level 3. 5 minutes in, first hit. That's okay. But if he still goes on this base, he, this will be very high. Yeah, I hit every five minutes. I'm okay with that. And I think Rurulu will be too. Come on, come on, come on, Rurulu. The rim was on screen. The chains are going. The gauge is coming back to Rurulu. Yes, what it takes to bring this round even further. We have Lily appearing. That's amazing for the chains, but he has to go back on the screen, back up on the screen. Sorry, the rainbow, rainbow boss is still on the screen. She gets the three ring, the three red rings off 
Ooh, it's pushed down. He has to go up. Ooh, he managed to do it very well. Oh, that's two level three at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Once again, Remo Boss is summoned on the rural side. Now he's hand handling things perfectly. But every time he cancels and he's at level 2, but level 3 spawning, uh, he is always pushed down because there's w one extra ring at high rank from the Raymo level 2s and level 3s. So he has to look out for that every time. Level 2 for Raymo. Level oh, nice 3 for Raymo. I all free from Raymo. It's okay, he has plenty of plenty gauge. Yep. Just have to be careful about not getting sniped. We have level 2, level 3 overlapping. And level 2 again. Oh, this is getting scary. Oh, no, 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 he has no gauge. Last life. No. Wait. Oh, get hit. What? Whoa. No. Oh, <laughs> last life for yeah, real. Yeah, no? charge. Oh, no, the yin yang. He has to be careful about using level 2 now. Uh, he isn't getting get he isn't getting that much gauge right now, so he has to be careful and oh no, a level 2 is on screen. Raymo out of blood right now. Okay, we're getting back to spell war. We've, we are past the 8 minute mark. Can we get to 10 minutes? Oh, lots of overlapping here. Level 2 and another level 2. Oh no. No! Oh, yeah. Uh, that was just over. Ah, oh, great effort from Rural here. Yeah, still a really nice round 1. I also mean why Pigeon just uh, suicided on stage 7 round 1 because he got a very nice uh, first round against Aya like over 40 million something of score. Oh, you're right, his score is, is big at the moment. So yeah, that's what, that's what you want to see uh, for him to catch up on all Penny. Let's go Pigeon. Uh, looking for an immediate spell war in round two. I actually don't know the potential of round two or round three or even round four for for Aki, but I'm guessing he's going to suicide for uh, some rounds. Because against Aki, with like any other character, you're most likely to die before having to suicide. While against Reimu, I think Rurururu can go all the way to where the timer uh, makes the AI die. So we might yeah. see effective suicides. Yeah, if he gets a lot of score uh, on the second and third ones, he. He surely hit the, um, uh, I would say, the goal to, to get a better TWC score. Mm -hmm. Oh, he got. He just changed his. Unfortunately, hits. Rough. He just got hit by the aim bullets on the, on the level two. I guess it was too fast. He, he didn't expect it. Oh, Pigeon cleared stage 7. And oh, wow, he has a really nice. He has amazing about as much score as, uh, resources. Yeah, about as much score as Otani had into stage uh, 9, and with one more yeah. life, so 
Yeah. yeah. He's on a very good pace to to do better than Otani. Take back second place. This is final run magic everyone. There we go, suicide from the room at 3.20. Just so like mesmerizing watching the room play. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, absolutely. Did he did the room go for the stall in round two? Uh, I, I think he did. Him. Yeah. Okay, okay. While Furul is stalling, I think Pigeon is handling round one like a champ. He's He's fighting for the height on screen and he's getting good reversals, also getting gauge back. Oh my god, Pigeon. Pigeon, you're insane. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Pigeon, you're insane. Yeah, that was a close call. Uh, the, the way he set up the spirit, ran into the corner and made the spirit explode is just brilliant. <gasps> what? Dude, I love Pigeon. <laughs> what a survival. He's being a warrior right now. If he gets the round one clear against Komachi, I'm going to go crazy. It's well on pace to do that. Yeah, really nice dodging and also scoring on the way. Yeah, dude, it's, it's doing great. What? Nice cancels. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, these okay. dodges were insane. Oh. <laughs> I would have get I would have got hit like 300 times in that time span. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what you, you want to see here. Yeah, that was, that was a bit rough here. <clears throat> but he's already past the premium mark. I think this could be a bomb clear. Oh, uh, maybe he's spending a bit too much gauge. Ooh! Nice level 1 usage. Oh, this is rough. There it is. Wow! Wow! Nice, really nice. Huge, absolutely huge round for Pigeon. <laughs> He's like 25 million ahead of all time with one more life, so basically 35 million, yeah. This, this is well on pace to surpass 200 millions. Might even be a, a PB, a, a novel PB for him. Yeah, I think so as well. He got two, 210 million or something. If he's giving level 2 to Pigeon, we like that. More level 2s, that's great, but Pigeon is dodging like a champ, what? <laughs> Dude, 
Oh. <laughs> whoa, 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 okay. okay. That was a risky okay. bet here. Yeah. Pigeon back on track. He has the gauge. Ooh. He got the reversal. Oh, level 3 this time. Make the end last hit. He ran into spirit. Oh no. Oh. I think everyone's now run into a spirit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, pigeon. Oh, oh. no. Oh, it's started charging too late. Yeah. <coughs> He, he was going, he was moving to the corner while charging, but a very nice hot dog sniped him while he was doing that. Very unlucky. Yeah, dying with Gage remaining like that is very sad. And then while Rurulu is, this is round 3 or 4, I think that's three. round 4. I, I'm four. sure it's 3. Is it 4? Yeah, I it must be 4. four. No, it's 3. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if he's going to spend all of his lives. I think he's going to have... I think he's going to switch side once more and then clearing the next round. Uh, I think that's because um, he cleared the stage 8 round 1 and I'm not sure if in an actual score run like he wants to go to stage 8 round 2, so I don't know. Oh, I see. That was an unfortunate hit from level 2. Run Creeper Pigeon. Still looking on uh, uh, higher than 200 mil pace for sure. Yeah. Oh, Ruru missing some gauge. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Got hit by the level 3. Might be really hard at this point for Ruru to beat his weight and score. But he will get close. Oh, a death for Rulu. Yeah, and a death he was for missing Pigeon. some gauge. Okay, so it's round five for Ruru with 609 millions. Stalling once again for Lily, which makes sense. It's the last run, might as well go for Lily. And you have also one spare life in case you fuck up. Yeah, he really wants to beat his, uh, his T over CPB, I think. Yeah. And if he doesn't uh, score well on this round, it's uh, it's Jover. Pretty much. Oh, oh no! Early hit for Rulu. Very early. That's. That must be upsetting. Hit, uh, hit by the. Right. Well, in what's right. 
Hmm? It didn't look like it didn't look like he got hit by the uh, red amulet. I think that's what, that's what hit him. Yeah. Getting all the scoring in round five will be difficult, but. Keep in mind, you can see that on the layout, he has to beat 663 to get an update for his TWC PEB. He still has more than 50 mil to go. Because even if he has uh, the, the most uh if he has big numbers on the clear bonus, uh, he, he has at most 50 million, so yeah, that wouldn't be enough right now. Mm -hmm. I think he's probably getting something like 40 million on, on his clear bonus. Yeah, I think so as well. It's going to be really close, depends on all on this round. Oh, Pigeon gets the clear! That's a that's an nice. OPB! Quite a huge Whoa. one! That is. He completely slayed it. Wow! That was a really good run by Pigeon. Amazingly played by Pigeon, who now gets a 217 mil run to update his score, which will lead him to second place. Very nicely done. Last run magic. Final run magic for real. And now only Ruru is missing. But he, he is about to finish the run. Oh, oh! There was some. There was a message on on pigeon screen. Maybe I didn't see that. Yeah, I, there was uh, with the replay names. Oh, I didn't read them. I'm sorry, pigeon. I know the first few said first who the uh, enemy blocker was by. Yeah. <laughs> Two of three like that just overlapping. And we have the clear. That's going to be an update nice. 680. Yeah, definitely a PB. Really nice. Huge. 680. GG's. Big GG's, yeah. Congrats to Dead Parrot, who has got things. Wow, the score is on the is on the leaderboard. Wow, that's <laughs> he that's just surprising. Didn't like me. <laughs> yeah, he just doesn't do many runs of uh, of AK. Well, at least he doesn't complete them often. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank, thank you for playing. Good role, dude. That thank was you really for nice showing run. us some of the sickest. PFP gaming we've ever seen. Wow. That was oh. incredible to see. Hmm. To recap the scores, in third place we have for Team Sunny, Otani, with 196 Yuka run. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, this is a, this is a great art. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> Did you think it would go as planned? And it's done by Harapion, the player we had before on Moss Extra. That's based. Dragon Ball reference, you, you like it? You love to see it? 
Yo, we're pigeon. Hello, pigeon. pigeon. Hello. Hello. So, how do you feel about the match? Well, as accepted, it it's some stupid, stupid stuff, and it went well. Yeah, it did. That was a a PB right for you on your car. Yeah. I hope you got some some sweat. Dude, I'm pretty sure no one was expecting that that Komachi round one, not even me. No, it was a fun fight. That Komachi round <laughs> one is probably the greatest Komachi I've ever seen. So did you read the replay manifesto? I sent it on the, the chat. Oh, let's on see. On the chat. It says... It went, uh, maybe it's too small, it was cut off at the end. Oh, I only saw who, who did the art, but I didn't see all the on the rest. Of the ending blocker? The ending blocker. The yeah. In the ending blocker, yeah, it was in Storm so yeah, but then in, in the, the replay uh, files. Allow me to read your ending blocker right now. <clears throat> Ending blocker by Eastern Mouse. So PC98 TWC when? Thank you again for having me this whole Windows Cup 2024. <laughs> Thank you, Pigeon. As a second page. Uh, do I have to read the Japanese as well? You don't need to. Okay. Uh, oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh, oops. There's also the second part. Uh huh. Also, we need you to join TWC next year for more fun. Please, everyone. Thanks. Ah, play, play please. Pray, everyone. Yes, thanks. I uh, thought I changed the, the, last, the replay name to Wee Wee, just for Degoff. I guess I forgot. <laughs> and also, the, uh, the, uh, the thing I drew with the replay files is uh, M9, so I was pointing the fingers at you all that you all join us. <laughs> uh, well, for me that depends on. Uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just not. Uh, it was duty, sorry. Uh, yeah, pretty much accomplished my goals. I would say the TRS replay has sense, so that's cool. And also uh, the new year replay as well. So it's also cool too. Yeah, that's true. I've been, uh, <laughs> I've been slacking on QFV. Sorry. Yeah, that, that's why I have to to take the French seat for now. You know, and I was ready to lie out that Werner would, would have needed to join the, the VC call if he, if you were not there, just so that the French seat was not taken by someone else. That would have been a big crisis. Well, we all need you, so that's okay. I'm not sure we anyone else will come near in any time. So next next week we do full French commentary for the lunatic survival with Lorenzo because he's also a good guy. And they are his yes. our neighbor too. For the French is and, and Italian. There's all the comes. <laughs> Was it next week? I think so. Okay, yeah, I had I had lots of fun today. I was a bit uh, is it the tense at the beginning? Uh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you saw the beginning. I, I had to win an AK round N N N N against Aya, so I had to do the two, the two next rounds. So I had to lose, to lose some time just to be sure I did not win the second round. Well, yeah, that, that, that took some time. Yeah, we saw the early hits, hits from AK and which were very unusual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I did get no, no hit and not win earlier, but that, that doesn't matter anyway. One day I get the double. So, okay. to I did send a, a big payment for the ending blocker for some now, and happy with the results as well. Uh, something you commissioned? Yeah. Oh, that's, well, nice. that's nice for the artist then. Yeah, yeah. We did accept the. We didn't say too much about this, did our. Take too much remark, sorry. It went very smooth, yeah, but I did make the last change to Blue Yuka because of course I do I use Blue Yuka, you know. Who who I, who I make it in. 
come down to SP1 go for play. Oh, we already have the card for the next match, which is going to be tomorrow. It's going to be DDC Extra Scoring. Will be a very, very, very entertaining match, which will see different shot types. And be sure to be there because DDC Extra is one of the more popular extras for scoring. You might know about the funny Marisa B gaming. So be sure to tune in if you're interested. Was well, this the first time Marisa is playing in TWC? I think. I don't know. I don't know either, but he has got. A new PB of a hundred uh, of uh, 1.250 bill recently, which is a huge <laughs> score. Yeah, for him that's huge. So I'm definitely looking forward to see him play. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to to see some Raymu A takes from Nerissa. And I think we also have another match tomorrow, but uh, I don't remember. I, I don't want to be incorrect. Uh, we do. <laughs> we do. We do. I okay. Just, I was just looking at the time for this match, and it's 1 a.m. for me. Oh, that's <laughs> epic. <Okay. laughs> yeah, the other one is. USD survival, apparently. Oh, is it? Yeah. Let's see if you can get the card on screen. Oh. There it is. Yo! <laughs> there it is. USD lunatic survival. This one is also going to be quite a match. KKGK, Himaj and Zero, all great players. KKGK is, I think KKGK has already participated in the USD. Yeah, definitely. He, he's been a big watcher of uh, TWC. <laughs> Always I think uh, Rayo coming on his side, uh, watching along. Yeah. All right. I think for Imagine that's the first time. I know he often streams on Twitch with a uh, Raymu A. Yeah, he's very famous for his EST Raymu A LNN, which was it was an incredible grind, which peaked with the LNN, absolutely deserved. And I really hope he can do well tomorrow. Yeah. And... Yeah. He's a great guy. <laughs> I anyway. imagine this match would be fun to watch. Oh yeah, absolutely. Anyway, anyway, anyway. This was POFB. Lunatic scoring. Thank you all for watching. We had a crazy, quite a crazy set of runs from each players. We had Otani and Pigeon improving their scores with each run, all the way until a point where Otani, with his final run, took over second place. But then Pigeon came back striking with an incredible 217 mil with Yuka, which got him the second place. And then of course we had Rurulu who started strong with uh, a, a Raisin 600 and... Uh, what it, was it? 40 mil? I don't even remember anymore. And... <laughs> <laughs> I think it was 80 mil or something. I don't remember, that's for sure. Oh, that, that's it, it was crazy one. high anyway, crazy high. Yeah, crazy high anyway. And then, for the final run, Magic. Which, by the way, happened for all the three players, which is crazy. 
But yeah, for the final run, Magic Lulu got us a 680 mil AK run, which took him to first place. So, congrats to Lulu. Yeah, I love big congrats. And thanks to him for showcasing the game <laughs> as a. But as, as good as he is, that was very. a big pleasure for the eyes, I would say. Yeah. So, thank you, Rurulu. Thank you, Otani. Thank you, Pigeon. Thank you, Dagothan Cake, for being with me on commentary today. And yeah, thanks to you, too. Thank you. This is <laughs> very fun. Yeah. And I'll, we'll see you all tomorrow for DDC. Bye, thanks for watching everyone. Bye bye. See ya. Bye bye.